everybody, my name is Robin Hoyle. I'm a faith art illustrator with Bible Stories from the Heart. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you devotion number two out of the Love Drops Adult Coloring Bible Study Series by Leslie Eaton. I've taken one of the color sheets with this devotion and I've applied it into my Bible and I'm gonna show you how we can do that um, without drawing in our Bible today. Uh, if you're a fan of Bible journaling, but you're still very uncomfortable with drawing or writing directly in your Bible, this is an incredible way that you can add art to your Bible and make it beautiful um, through illustrations that God lays on your heart without using it directly into your Bible. Okay, so this is the color sheet by Nicole Nelson that's in the series. Uh, and today's scripture is, The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Exodus 15, 2. I'm going to show you how I've done this. This is a tip-in. It's called a tip-in. So you can see I didn't write directly in my Bible. The pages are unmarked in this Bible on these pages, okay? All I've done was taken the art and added it in there as a little flip in, in there in the uh, binding in the center. Okay, and so I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first thing that I did, I shrunk the page down to a five by seven. You can uh, use any size you want, you know, and uh, I, but I thought this was a great size to use in here. Um, I just love this page. It, this was one of my favorite devotions in this series uh, because it talked about Moses and the song of Moses as he led the people out of Egypt toward the Red Sea. Um, but what I did, I took a piece of orange cardstock, I cut it a little bit bigger than my three by five um, coloring sheet. Once I did that, I went ahead and glued that color sheet onto the top using a Tombow Aqua Clear Glue. Uh, this dries very quickly. It dries clear, uh, great to use with Bible journaling projects. Um, so I glued that directly onto the page. Then I took my color sheet and I prepped it using a Krylon workable fixative. You can also use a matte finish um, that comes like this. Uh, if you're not uh, comfortable using a spray aerosol, you can use a gesso or a liquid gel medium. Um, Liquitex makes a great brand. And just use a very thin coat over the top of your picture. That just seals it off so that you're able to work directly onto the top of the surface and it helps to uh, uh, keep those colors vibrant, okay? Uh, it takes about 30 seconds for the spray to dry. It takes 30 minutes to an hour for the gel to dry. So it's just whatever your preference is for that. Um, I'm a little impatient and like to hurry and get into my journaling. So I, I tend to use the spray to start my page. So once that's done, then I took a baby wipe, just a baby wipe, wrapped it around my finger, real snug around my finger, and then used this green Faber-Castell Gelato. Started rubbing it real heavy on that baby wipe on my finger. That's because the moisture from the baby wipe with the soft gel of the gelato really blends and gives you this real soft background for your page and I just smeared it all over the page in the background, leaving a little bit of the white coming through. After I did that, um, then I started working on the bird. The bird was done with a medium tip blue uh, metallic pen. Um, I used a medium tip because it goes on kind of thick and that way you're able to move it around on the image and smooth it out real good. It's great to use for coloring in large spaces. I used a stiff brush to move that gel around in, in the bird and um, you know smooth it out on the surface. Then I took a white, speaking of birds, you can hear mine in the background, I'm sorry. But I took a white gel pen then and on the belly of the bird added some white and started pulling it into the blue and that gave me that soft baby blue color for the belly of the bird. Then I used an orange uh, colored pencil for the beak. It was very simple. I took a Micron pen after that and it was the 05 and just started highlighting all of the areas around the bird, the bird's wing and bringing out the eye again 
and then all of the lettering in the background, I went over it with this pen. Uh, except for the word song. The word song was highlighted with this green metallic to really make it pop and bring out that um, the word song because we're talking so much about how to praise God through song in this devotion. Uh, the uh, little circle backgrounds were done with a blue brush pen by Pentel. And I just, you know, added a little color to those to bring those out. Then I was ready to apply it into my Bible. The way that I did this, I took washi tape and with the music theme, used the keyboard washi tape and just uh, put it directly into from top to bottom in the binding of my Bible right here. Okay, and so you go from top to bottom and it's paper, you can tear it real easy or cut it with a small pair of scissors and then just work that down into the binding in your Bible. And then once that's done, you take your tip in, and on the back side, you wanna go from the top of the tip in to the bottom of the tip in, and halfway, use only about half of the washi tape onto the tip in, let the other half hang over. And then you fold that little bit back a little bit, work it down into the crease here, and just secure it on top of that piece that's already in the binding of your Bible. By doing that, you can't even tell the difference here. See, it still looks like the piano keys up and down. So um, it's this was a great pattern to use. And then you can do the same thing on the front side if you want. I chose not to because I like this little trimmed edge around my picture. And it's secure enough. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's in there. See, it won't come out. So um, you don't have to put it on the front if you don't want to. After I finished that, I really liked how it looked, but I got to looking in some of my washi tape and found this beautiful bird pattern and decided to add a little piece down here for decorative uh, purposes, you know, and it just brings out the bird that much more. So you can go crazy with washi tape. You can add as much or as little as you want. I wanted to keep this looking just the way it is here. I think it's beautiful, it, it's to the point, and it brings the scripture out. So I just wanted to share that just because you're uncomfortable you know, writing in your Bibles, this is a great way to do Bible journaling and do it as a tip-in in your Bible. Um, and, and it's secure, it's not going anywhere, and it's showing the visions that God has laid on your heart as you study his word, okay? So please remember, um, there is a lot of great devotions in this series. Um, this is a great book to have. If you don't already have it, you can order it. It's 1098. You can order it online at www.createspace.com, 6544688. You'll use the password 915216. Um, it's a great series to have. Leslie does an incredible job with her devotions in this series. I think it would be well worth your money to, to purchase. And uh, if you get this series and study it and God lays a vision on your heart and you use it in your Bible, please share it with us on Pinterest, on Facebook, and Instagram. You can hashtag Bible Stories from the Heart hashtag faith art journaling so that we can locate them and see what God has shown you through your devotion time. Um, but this is a wonderful series to, to have and to own and to follow. And I really look forward to seeing what God has laid on your heart. So please, please do share it with us and let us know what you think. I hope that this was helpful in uh, you're preparing to do some Bible journaling, and I look forward to seeing what your illustrations look like. Thank you so much, and have a blessed day.